keep the first part of uh, our communication so we we'll continue okay um greetings once again friends like i told you we apologize for the constant disruption but uh, our internet is being constantly jammed you all can see the fear that the regime has always trying to disrupt any kind of communication that we have to you we cannot use the radio stations or TV stations freely. All we have is the internet and we thank God for it, but it's also being distracted. However, we shall proceed anyway. All I want is to ensure that at least I can empty my mind to you, brothers and sisters. I was still uh, condoling our beloved Archbishop and uh, telling all of you the kind of person, reminding all of us the kind of person that we have lost we have lost a noble, outspoken uh, religious leader. We all know that uh, the Archbishop actually complained, like I was saying, the circumstances under which he died were suspicious. It is not being spoken about, but that's the truth. We are still questioning uh, the circumstances under, uh, under which he died. Not that I'm disputing the doctor's preliminary report about his death, but we all remember that the Archbishop severally complained about the threats on his life. He, a few uh, weeks ago, mentioned that somebody had called him and told him he would be the next room. You remember that uh, he was even warned, warned by the regime. So to see that he died only a few hours after, you know, performing the will, the cross, um, a person that was clearly healthy is still disturbing our minds. But anyway, God is the one that gives and takes. And uh, may his name be glorified. Uh, I will personally miss him. Archbishop Chizito Luanga came and prayed for me on uh, uh, my sick bed in Rubaga Hospital after being brutalized in Arua. He spoke out against injustices, he spoke out against the excesses of the regime. He always advocated for constitutionalism, he advocated for the rule of law. So we have really lost a noble um, religious leader and uh, we hope that um, we can find justice for him much as we were informed that he died of a, a heart attack we all remember that you can't be certain in, under a military dictatorship. If we had a functional government, we would be uh, instituting or demanding for an inquiry into his death. But as we all know, under the Museveni regime, many people die. And it swept under the carpet. Kawesa was murdered. Uh, Chirumira was murdered, Sheikh Muzata was uh, died under suspicious circumstances and many others um, inquiries are instituted but they die out like that. However, I know like I've given you an example of uh, Archbishop Janan Lum when he was murdered in the Amin regime the official narrative was that he died in a car accident but so many years after the fall of Amin, the truth came out. I pray that by the grace of God, 
the truth and the real truth about the death of Archbishop Cyprian Chisdowanga will come out. But until then, we continue to pray for him to rest in internal peace. I also, before delving in further communication, want to take this opportunity to salute uh, the Muslim community, our Muslim brothers and sisters, and to wish you a very happy and fruitful uh, month of Ramadan, Ramadan Karim, Ramadan Mubarak. Tubagalize chisivo e chiru unji baganda wa femu ina mukama abawe bimusinga okwa gala. Tumanyiti mwezi unu gumuge nukutandi kogwe chisivo. Lazima vya sawa Allah abikuwa. So, tuwa savira jonabio nabi mwagala na etu manji wanji nyo musavidi lense nonji musavidi lendembe, musavidi ya baganda wa femu. Ndala haba siramu abali makomera angatibaina musango abali makomera na ye kubanga government ya Museveni ebe na likirira obabo gede nyama zima na baba fude ala abagazize kabuli zawe um, manyi inti ne muslim fraternity efiridwa mubanga ya tono nyerise abantu abama anjivanji uh, tuba sasiru ulo kufirwa sheikh uh, anas kalisa ulo kufirwa sheikh nu muzata mkwano wange muganda wange ulo kufirwa aji katongo le naba lalabo naba siramu Haba fude. Pozi mungeri emu, njagala no kusasira Muganda wange, Lord Mayor Elias Rukwago. Uh, I spoke to him just a while ago. Nyagedeko ne Lord Mayor Elias Rukwago. Ngamuruade. Ali Nairobi. Kuchitanda. Na ye, haba sawo, haba kukubwa giza kwa mwekebeja. No muko lako kulaba angatereda. Tukusabira Muganda hafe, uh, Lord Mayor. Mukama kususe, okomeo, okole mirimujaba antu. We are confident that Allah will be with you and he will heal you and you will come back and we continue the struggle for the liberation of our motherland. Namwe, abadi yu mumu sabide ko Muganda wa Ferod Mea Elias Rukwago. Now, I'll try to be brief because um, we've started quite late owing to the disruption in the network and we are not even sure whether we'll be able to complete this. So before it gets disrupted, I want to tell you that I came today to address you majorly on three issues. Number one, I uh, wanted to give you an update on our brothers and sisters, our comrades who are in prison, the political prisoners and those who are missing. Um, many brothers and sisters are still missing. Those that have been returned have been gravely tortured, beaten, and some don't even have the confidence to give a recount of what they've gone through. Baba bunya bunyeza, baba tutu bunyeza, bala baba kudemu njala, baba kubye nyu. Banji, bati anu kukira kubanga baba tisa tisa. Abalala, baganda bafe, ngabo mmanyi, bali makomera, na bala banji, bali chitalia, including Nubian Lee, Eddie Mutwe, Tawa, Mowa, Dog City, um, Mbogo, um, Sheriff Naja, so many brothers and sisters are there. We are doing everything possible to have them free. We are using all legal means to get freedom for these, our brothers and sisters. Um, we petitioned um, the Court of Appeal, we petitioned the, um, you know, uh, Court Marshal to ensure that these people get a bail. We know that they have no crime. Tebaina musango govaza. Na yera, muma nyi burunji nyu, timu rejimu ngeya museveni. Bageza ako, kubako ze sanga bagain. The regime is trying to use these people as a bagain tool to hold us on ransom. Bama nyi, tiba haba tunyigirizanga, waku teba ganda bafe. Bama nyi, tiba slowinga down ni emirimu jafe. Bama nyi, ti ne families, na zo, bageza ako kuzina fia. We have been visiting them uh, in Nakwezi, say, Nze, Ne Joel Senyonyi, Ne Secretary General of Affairs, David Lewis, Batugana, Okudamu, Okchadira, Bana Febano, Avali, Echitaria. Wachi, Wanga Tugira, Mazima, Umbera, Jebaitam. But again, we cannot hide the truth. These people are not in good conditions. They should be in better conditions. The Wakidis work, Soma Vitabo, Ebio, Vikwataku, Uganda, Bagamba, Ebio, Vyabufuzi. Imagine the constitution. Umusibe, alimu kumera takilizi wa kusoma vitabu vya mateka. 
takiriziwa kusoma constitution tasobu takiriziwa kusoma bitabo ebikula abantu obwongo so now you know to be dictator ba bedanga bafuga afuba so much to ensure that he keeps you in the dark and puts a fence around your mind we pray for them these are brothers and sisters we thank all of you that have gone to visit them they are not short of visitors Yes, Babira Bagala Kuva Mukomira Bako Yeyo Chichitufu. It's been now more than three months. Na yetu ebazamina ababa chalida nimbabere um Piranja Gala Chino Chibala Gay Timuseve Nikati. Alwana naba ordinary people. He's fighting with ordinary people. He's not fighting with intellectuals anymore. He's fighting with babas like Eddie Mutwe. He's fighting with music producers like Dan Magic. He's fighting with singers like Nubian Lee. With club bouncers, with uh, young men and young women, he's fighting with border border riders. He's fighting with the hawkers like Bobby Young. So, Museveni is naked. But again, I'm very glad, and the world is glad, and the nation as Uganda, we are glad that there's massive awakening of the people. Now, the people of Uganda have taken on the struggle by themselves. I want to thank all of you that have been protesting and demanding for the release of these our people even just today our brothers and sisters in south africa were protesting we salute you brothers and sisters we salute you all over the world and here in uganda those that have showed up to uh, protest in different ways i'm also protesting right now t-shirt demanding for the release of political prisoners, Tebaina Musango. But again, I know that many of you have devised means of uh, protesting. I've been driving around town. I see people uh, having stickers on their cars. I see people, I see posters around. Um, I even see some graffiti demanding for the release of political prisoners. And to encourage you, go on and protest in all legal and non-violent ways. Nonviolence works. Pressure works. I want to thank the legal team. Our legal team has done so much to ensure that these our people come out. Thank you very much. Um, I want to thank the brothers and sisters in the diaspora that have continued to support the families and the relatives of the incarcerated comrades. We could not handle it. I can't handle it alone. We can't handle it alone as NUP, but you fellow Ugandans, you have taken the responsibility to ensure that these people don't, you know, go hungry while their breadwinners are incarcerated. We salute you, brothers and sisters. Um, I also want in a very, very, very special way to thank our secretariat. Those that run about our um, staff members that keep making sure that uh, you know bail papers are processed, that affidavits are made, that the visits are, are, are you know are accomplished and they are successful, that food is bought for these are our friends. We salute you. The second thing I wanted to talk about today is the status of our struggle. I want to remind you, brothers and sisters. That the dictator is still in overdrive to ensure that he silences us once and for all. He has said it severally that he will crush us. So he's in overdrive trying to crush us, trying to crush our ego because he is so scared. Whenever we rise up, abductions have continued. Many comrades have been arrested and framed with uh, illegal possession of firearms. The same ridiculous charge that they put on these our comrades who were arrested together with me in Kalangala. And the regime is claiming they were found with ammunition. You recently remember that our comrade Chairman Nyanzi was raided by these ununiformed but gun wielding men. And they pretended to be delivering bananas to his house. And guess what? In those bananas, there were two guns. If he had opened, uh, if he had received those bananas, by now it would be a different story. Many of our comrades have continuously been framed with the possession of firearms. 
However, like I've always been saying, Mwebe Liremu, brothers and sisters, it's important that you take it upon yourself to know that we fight in various ways, but most importantly, be alert, brothers and sisters. Museveni is desperately trying to turn a page on this fraudulent election. He's trying to sweep it under the carpet. He's trying so much to make this a business of yesterday. And we are saying it is not over. We are still demanding our victory. But at the same time, we even demand more the release of our comrades to come and join us in this struggle because the struggle is not over until we achieve our liberty. I want to remind you, comrades, that this is not, you know, this is a marathon. It is not a sprint. In a struggle, you told him, see me seeing the Jakafuku to go. Wabula marathon. So we, would, we should not expect to turn things over just overnight. However, I'm encouraged, like I want you to feel encouraged that every day we draw closer to the finishing line. Every day, all signs are showing that the dictator is falling. This ferociousness you see of Sungu Wemulaba, but no one have won it all. Of anti dictator, Agenda Kugwa. This is what has happened whenever dictators are about to fall. Brothers and sisters, it's always darkest when the sun is about to break. So, hang in there. Let's keep going. Let's keep fighting. We are certainly going to overcome. We are certainly going to, you know, overwhelm this Museveni regime. Stay strong. Stay focused, stay prayerful, stay believing, keep faith. Let's keep the faith alive. Don't be broken. We shall overcome. We are going to overcome. Now, my third point, and very importantly, I wanted to address the rampant propaganda that is ongoing. But not the propaganda as it is. I want to address the regime's renewed attempt to do the three Ds. To divert us, to divide us, and to derail us. Three Ds. They want to divert us, to get us off the focus of saying, Mr. Museveni, you lost. You stole the election. We want to be free. We want our people back. Now he wants to change the conversation after being rejected by the people of Uganda and rejected by the international community. He wants to change our conversation he wants us to change our guns to each other. That's why he's diverting us from the main point of freeing our country and freeing ourselves to fighting each other. Besides diverting us, he wants to divert us. He wants us, I mean, he wants to divide us. He wants us to be fighting against each other. You are from a different party, therefore you're my enemy. You are from a different tribe, therefore you're my enemy. You are from a different school of thought, therefore you're my enemy. And yet we have always said that, friends, Uganda is only divided in two sides. That is the oppressor and the oppressors and the oppressed. So don't allow yourself to be diverted. Don't allow yourself to be divided. And certainly he wants to derail us, so don't allow him to derail us. Every time we change our guns and point them at each other, then we are being, we're slowing our arrival date to our freedom. And yet our brothers and sisters are dying every day. All our comrades did not die to see us fight each other. Our comrades are not in prison to see us fight each other. No. Why do I say that it is Museveni's effort to divide us? Because it only works for him. You brothers and sisters know that every time we fight against each other, we are making it easy for Museveni. We are making it harder for ourselves and therefore for the people of Uganda. So, if you are in the struggle, why do you allow yourself to be a tool of division? Why do you allow yourself to be a tool of diverting? Why do you allow yourself to be a tool of derailing us? I've said it many times that anybody whose words and actions are speeding up the fall of Museveni, the fall of the dictatorship, is our comrade and ally. No matter what party they come from, no matter who they are, 
and anybody whose words and action are actually keeping Museveni in power and keeping the people of Uganda slaves, that person is an enemy. No matter who they are, no matter what party they come from, no matter what their school of thought. Because this is a freedom struggle. And whoever is fighting for freedom is an ally. I mean, ask yourself, why would anybody invest so much time and resources to ensure that we are divided? You know, we wake up every day, like we say, to make sure by the end of that day, we can stock take and say, yeah, the road to Museven, to Mutusano, and Jatum Tandi Kiravan. So, a big call of you, Navy Gambo, you, we will be Gataku struggle, we will be to Gata, Gatabituaula, we will be young, Wakwa, Nache Madira. Then you'll be Munafi. Navy call of you, Navy Gambo, you, we will be to Salah speed, we will be to Aulam, we will be to Aula Yamulam Bowsi, we will be to Sao, Nache Madira. Never be any. Obira mulabu, mulabi wa struggle eno jetulimu. Echo chiri very important. Tuwa bagamba nganti bulimotu. Tuja mula vila kubikolu wabi. Yana making a show anti. Vikolu wabi. Nevi gambo vila. We representing a show girako. We shall see everybody by their actions. So, brothers and sisters, it is important that we focus. Very, very important. Otherwise, we will be seen by the people as, you know, um, prolonging the stay of the regime. You cannot claim that you support Chagulani. But you say, no, you're fighting everybody around Chagulani. I mean, what I stand for is what the people that I work with stand for. So you cannot claim that you're supporting uh, me when you're trying to destroy every support around me. This is what dictators do. They first attack everybody around you so that they isolate you. And ultimately, they will attack you as a target. So, nchida mchino muruganda kuma njagana mbele very clear. Ntutoso wala kugamba, tino wagira chagulanyi. Na yate ngurumba gana buli yeto rude chagulanyi. Obanga gama tuya gala support system yo na yona. Yamba ko, ukutamu ze mili mjetamu za, usoko jijeo, beni mbele ngandi alone. Zem gamba gamba, this is not about Chagulani as an individual. It is about all of us. You support me because of what I represent. And therefore you support the people that I work with because of what they represent. And the day anybody, including you, my brother, and myself, when we change what we are talking about, then we will also become enemies of the struggle, including you. So it's very, very important that we remind each other about this. We must look at things directly. But most importantly, let us not allow to be diverted with brothers and sisters. Museveni fights in crude ways. mubala. Nebu wabai yetaka koi sa mutamifu. Nebu wabai yetaka koi sa mutu kumita taking a serious. Nebu wabai yetaka koi sa, um, you know, by intellectual. He uses all ways. Yet I na limit. So don't allow yourself to be used. Kuwanga, abama haba koi sa vamanyi. Abama haba koi sa te vamanyi. And this, I want everybody to know it, that Museven uses some of our comrades with their knowledge while he uses others. Without their knowledge, it is very, very important that we address this. Brothers and sisters, we, as the new generation of Uganda, are blessed with social media. We should use social media to unite us, not to divide us. We should use social media to push the truth out there, not what is wrong. We should use social media against the dictator, not against freedom fighter. Or else, our advantages will certainly turn into disadvantages. I really had to communicate this and I request all of you to translate it in languages that you understand so that a message can reach everybody. Each other is all we have. We must work together. We must work together if we really mean what we say. 
and if we really say what we mean. Why are we each other's threats when we have a bigger threat? We are not saying that we will 100% agree, but even when we disagree as a struggle, we know that we are all going to be eaten by the dictatorship if we don't stand firm and represent what we believe in and major on majors while minoring on minors. And uh, finally, about the propaganda, I want you to know that this propaganda didn't be able to get a bit of no, umuntu watambuza propaganda, it doesn't have to be true because their intention is not to convince, their intention is to create doubt, create so much doubt. And the danger about this, my brothers and sisters, let me also remind you, that the dictator uses propaganda to discredit you before they attack you. They can even use propaganda amongst you so that they can harm you and say it was an internal rivalry. So do not be shocked that one comrade is attacked, uh, that one comrade is, uh, that propaganda is pushed against any comrade, including you, my brother, and the regime will be getting a free target. It's important that we mind ourselves to it. Other than that, brothers and sisters, I want to encourage us to keep the faith alive. Failure is not an option for us. Like we said, we must fight and get our freedom or at least try die trying to be free there's no option there's no um, you know alternative for freedom and i know that this struggle that we inherited from those that came before us is alive and well and we are certainly soon going to move to remove a dictator I want to send you greetings, all our comrades in the struggle. Abana bo nabe tuali nabo campaign trail. Abatali mukomera, abanda bo I salute you. Mbera mbalo ozako every day. I think about so much the comrades that we lost. Um, all of you that support us in the diaspora, the diaspora chapter especially, you friends have treated so many victims. Uh, you know that are in hospital. Abana abanji nyo. Abame nye kamaguru. Abali maluwa lido. Muba janjavye. Banji baba sivu de. Banji bagenda baku baku matu. Uh, our brothers and sisters that lost jobs. Uh, we continue to be harassed. Uh, muze mulaba regime. Emoto kanezu wamba. On top of emoto kaza febili zeba wamba. Emi ake jisu kebili. Ejise ezili maluwa. Kati. Na uh, ni moto kaya fempia uh, Mbaji ise Nti wakala kudamu jichaji nga misolo Na hebi vena vena katonda li nafe Pana Uganda bali nafe Na mateka agali nafe So chiri very 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 important To um, Hang in there To be strong To Keep the hope alive Njagala okusindika okuna msa Pwangeli family Zaba nafe bonna bonna abali makomera this morning i was talking to Eddie Mutwe's daughter and she's strong the other day i was talking to Nubian's wife she's strong um our brother Achire Uchivumbi lost his father he was not able to even uh, pay his last respect to his father tatawe pamuzika our comrades are uh, in prison by Eddie Mutwe, by Bobby Young. These have been victims of propaganda in the past. We salute all of you. We salute you, Nubian. We salute all of you. Betutamanyi ko jemuri. Naenga tumanyi ti jemuri. John Boss ko chivalama. Nabalala. Mukama. Alina mwe. Nafetulina mwe. I want to thank all of you fellow Ugandans for listening to me. I would really love to continue communicating to you, but because we can't access easily the radios and TVs, at least we'll every now and then be coming to communicate with you. We once again apologize. We spoke to you almost a, a, more than an hour later because our internet has been uh, disrupted. I wish you a happy Ramadan. I wish you a happy weekend. I wish you a happy day for God and my country.